what's up guys? CJR here today with my Sony PSP collection. It's been uh, a couple years since I've done this collection and the Sony PSP is one of my favorite handhelds of all time. I really think it is one of the most underrated handhelds of all time. Uh, the PSP did pretty well in North America. It obviously did better in Japan. But uh, overall, the PSP was a pretty successful console. Uh, unlike the Vita, the PSP had a, a much larger install base and uh, a lot more games were released for the system. I believe it was released in 2004, I think it was. Um, I can still remember picking up picking it up at launch at, uh, I think it was at Walmart. And uh, not a lot of people there. There wasn't a, whole, a big lineup or uh, kind of a huge demand for the PSP at first from what I remember. Uh, the original model was much thicker. They came out with a 2000 and a 3000 model. And uh, I guess I'll talk about that now. This is the 2000 model. Um, I've had every single model. I have a 3000 kicking around here somewhere, but I couldn't find it. 2000 model is really nice. Uh, the 3000 model has a slightly better screen. Uh, I am a huge fan of the PSP Go. Um, just its form factor, it's uh, super tiny. I used to bring this to work and game with it at work because it looks so much like a cell phone. You could just sit there and play games, look like you might be texting somebody. That being said, when this first came out, the reason why I played it so much is because I actually hacked it. And um, of course I already owned the games that I put on it, but I put on the games digitally because you obviously can't play UMDs, which is a major downfall of the PSP Go. And kind of the reason why it didn't do very well is kind of ahead of its time. They're forcing you to do digital downloads. They had no way of transferring your current purchases on UMD to the PSP Go. So it really didn't do very well. But I like it. Um, specifically for RPGs, I played a lot of uh, Tactics Ogre on this. A lot of the Persona series I played on this little console right here. So those are the handhelds. Um, like I said, when it came out, uh, it was a really, really powerful handheld at the time. Kind of mind-blowing. You're so used to the... Uh, Nintendo DS, um, Game Boy type stuff, and to have in between probably PS1, PS2 graphics in the palm of your hand was a really a big deal back then. Uh, anyways, I'm going to get into the collection itself for this will be a really long video. I'll start with my special editions here. I have the uh, Metal Gear Solid Limited Edition. Uh, this is Peace Walker Limited Edition. I've got the, what is this, me, um, I think it's me, Mana. Let me know in the comments below, I'm sure I butchered that. RPG by Axis. Uh, this is Persona 2, Innocent Sin. I, I haven't actually played this one by Atlas. Um, this is one of the best RPGs on the system. Kind of really underrated, really old school JRPG. Uh, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. And I mentioned in a previous video, this is still sealed, but I have the digital version that I've played. And I'm currently playing Trails of Cold Steel right now. Really good series. And then the Yi series. Uh, Oath and Felgana. And uh, Yi 7. Really good RPGs. Again, these are sealed, but I've, I played the digital versions of them. I missed out on the 1 and 2 Chronicles, and it... Um, I actually passed it up hoping that it would drop in price, but it did nothing but go up in price, so I really missed out. I kind of wanted to have all three of those. Uh, okay, I'll get into the games. So there's a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to move pretty quickly through these. Uh, the Simpsons game, really good port of the uh, console game. This is a really good game. Even on the on the three, on the the uh, DS, it's, the DS version is really good too. Really good one. Um, Naruto uh, Legends, oh wait, Naruto, and someone's going to... Um, someone's going to correct me in the comments below if I don't say that property, uh, properly. Legends, um, Akatsuki Rising. I don't know a whole lot about the Naruto games, but I got these really cheap, uh, so I decided to add them to the collection. We got uh, Naru Naruto Ultimate, In Ultimate Ninja Heroes 2. i got to slow down here. This is uh, Kazuna Drive. Naruto. Not Naruto, I think it's Naruto. I hope that's right. Uh, Sweet Fuse at your side. I believe this is like a dating sim by Axis. I got this for a couple bucks when uh, EB Games, uh, GameStop was clearing them out. Looks pretty interesting. Let me know anything. A lot of these I haven't played yet, so let me know in the comments below if you've played them or what, what's a hidden gem here. Uh, Hot Shots Golf Open T. Great on the PSP. Uh, this is the original Final Fantasy. Uh, redone with uh, like some CG cutscenes and stuff. Uh, what do I? What did I do to deserve this? My Lord Two by NIS. I forget what type of game this is to be honest. 
I think it's some side, some some sort of RPG. I totally forget what this one is. <clears throat> Silent Hill Origins. Get this quicker here. This is uh, Armored Core Formula Front Extreme Battle. That's quite the title. Uh, GTA Vice City Stories. The GTA games actually weren't too bad on the PSP. Um, one of which is my favorite, one of my favorite GTA games, I'll get to that. Monster Hunter Freedom. Uh, Jack and Daxter. This is, uh, The Lost Frontier. I believe this was the last one in the series on the PSP. Um, really good, uh, action platformer. More of an action game. Uh, God's Eater Burst. I just dropped this one on the floor and I think I broke the case. Yep. Damn it. Uh, Blaze Blue or Blaz Blue. This is Continuum Shift. Really cool fighting game by Axis. We've got Monster Hunter Freedom 2. I'm really trying to get all the JRPG or all the RPGs on the Vita. And uh, this is Brave Story New Traveler. Really good classic JRPG. Parappa the Rapper. I still don't own this in the PS1. I've been looking for it for years, but it goes for like $60 now. And I've actually never seen it in the wild. So um, this one's pretty good from. From what I remember, uh, I forget what it adds, but uh, uh, PSP exclusive features, ad hoc multiplayer, downloadable remixes, and game share demo. So not a whole lot. I used to love that as a kid. This is a uh, Yadra Union Atlas RPG. One of these, I believe this might have come out on the Game Boy Advance first. One of them, I forget which. If it's Yadra Union or. I'll get to it. Crimson Gem Saga. That's a really good one. Uh, this is... What does that say? Uh, Monster Kingdom Jewel Summoner. Another RPG. Astonishia Story. Uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy. That one's still steel. I think I got that on clearance at uh, GameStop also. Uh, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, that's a really good handheld fighter. N Plus, Me and My Katamari, Obscure the Aftermath, survival horror game, Lemmings, <clears throat> Lego, uh, yeah, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. One of my favorite strategy tactical RPGs of all time, Tactics Ogre. This game is absolutely fantastic, really love this one. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, another one in uh, that kind of genre, really good one. Wow, this is in... I'm missing the manual for that one. Atari Classics Evolved. <coughs> uh, some pretty good compilation games on the PSP. Star Trek Tactical Assault. Uh, Luminous 2, probably my favorite puzzle game of all time, Luminous and Luminous 2. Uh, Papolocra. By Agitech, a, uh, I believe it's a strategy RPG also. Every Extend Extra. Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 4. I always screw up my Roman numerals. Yeah, 4. Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This is actually a pretty good Silent Hill game. I played it on the Wii, and the Wii controls were actually pretty decent from what I remember. Ridge Racer, must have, PSP launch game, uh, DJ Max Emotional Sense Fever, DJ Max Fever Emotional Sense. Uh, R-Type Command, this one's getting kind of sought after and a little expensive. Steambot Chronicles Battle Tournament, more Atlas stuff. Uh, NBA Street Showdown, I play that to death on the PSP, love those games. Uh, Wipeout Pulse, Space Invaders Extreme, that's a really good remake with Space Invaders. Daxter, Patapon, Tales of the World, Radiant Mythology. This is Kenka Boncho, Badass Rumble. Lots of Atlas games. Hakuoki, Demon of the Fleeting Blossom. I believe that one's, uh, yeah, it's like a, uh, almost like a graphic novel. Gungnir, another strategy RPG, tactical RPG, I always mess those up. Phantom Brave, typical uh, straight up JRPG. Or is this one tactical too? I mean, that's another. I can't 
can't remember. It's been so long since I've touched any of these. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. This is from an anime. I picked that up a little while ago. Rock Band Unplugged. Kind of a hidden gem. That game's really fun. Much better, I found, than the the Rock Band that they released on the XBLA. I can't remember what it's called. Um, rock Band. It's the one without you play without the instruments, but I thought this one was much better. I really enjoyed that. The first Luminous. Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness, another tactical RPG. Untold Legends, um, Sony first party, uh, kind of a RPG, a little bit Diablo-like kind of, from what I remember. Don't remember it being that good. Uh, Dead or Alive Paradise. Uh, Riviera, The Promised Land. Blade Dancer, Lineage of Light. This was a tough one to find. Really cool cover. You can see it's shiny foil. I just stumbled upon this one at a uh, pawn shop in like northern Ontario in a ski town, Collingwood. Guilty Gear Judgment. Call of Duty Roads to Victory. Manhunt 2. Ape Escape Academy. Uh, Platypus. This is a like a claymation shmup. Really weird game. Super Monkey Ball Adventure, Killzone Liberation, a uh, really good game. If you're just going to pick up a PSP or even a Vita, if you see this cheap on the, uh, the Sony store, pick that up. It's not like your typical first person Killzone, it's like top down perspective. Really good game. I wish they would redo, I don't know why they haven't done a new Killzone in that style on the Vita. It's not going to happen now, but uh, Hot Shot Tennis, Get a Grip. <coughs> WTF, Work Time Fun, a bunch of really weird mini games. Uh, Practical Intelligence Quotent. Uh, Mana Kamiya, uh, Student Alliance. One of my favorites on the system, the Power Stone Collection. Includes Power Stone 1 and 2. Uh, I tried playing this on my, I did play it on my, um, I, I own the digital version, so I played it on my. Uh, PS Vita TV. W wishful thinking. I was hoping that you could hook up two controllers and play it that way, one and two. That would have been awesome. I would have just used that as my little portable Power Stone player, but it didn't work. You have to use an ad hoc mode, so it doesn't quite work. But um, really good game. You can find it really cheap too. Uh, the Grand Theft Auto game I was talking about earlier. One of my favorites of all. One of my favorites. Period is uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Also on the DS. And I believe it's on the on uh, cell phones now. Smartphones iPhone. Uh, Fading Shadows, Agitech game. Uh, Siphon Filter, Logan's Shadow. Beautiful Joe, uh, Red Hot Rumble. Really love these games. Uh, played them a lot on the GameCube, I think it was. <clears throat> Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. The original Patapon. Darkstalkers Chronicle, The Chaos Tower. Loco Roco. <coughs> this is uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Okay, we've got Class of Heroes, the first one. And then I actually ordered uh, direct from Monkey Paw, who um, made a limited run of uh, Class of Heroes 2. There's a little certificate here. Kind of cool to have that. Legend of Heroes, A Tear of Vermilion. Exit. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force. I don't really play card games, but I thought I'd hold on to that one. God of War, Chains of Olympus. God of War series is amazing on the PSP. Hot Shots Golf, Open T2. Um, Knights in the Nightmare, a really good one there. Also on the DS. Dynasty Warriors Strike Force. Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded. These Capcom um, compilations are fantastic. Um, Capcom Classics Collection Remixed. More Capcom arcade games. There's a Capcom puzzle one that I didn't even know existed that I just saw recently. I gotta pick that one up. SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fireteam Bravo 2. Um, Tekken Dark Resurrection. Uh, Dragoneers Aria. Really another hard one to find. Um, D and D tactics. <coughs> Secret Agent Clank. Activision hits remixed. 
Wipeout Pure, Hammer and Hero, uh, Tenchu, Tenchu Shadow Assassins, Fantasy Star Portable, The Warriors, actually a really good portable Warriors game. The the uh, the stand the console version of Warriors. Pick, I highly recommend you pick that up too. It's really good. Uh, Jean d'Arc. Um, this is another tactical RPG. Really really good one. Really cool art style. Valkyria Chronicles two. I'm glossing over that one. This one is a a fantastic game. Really enjoyed playing that. The uh, Gran Turismo. The only Gran Turismo on the PSP. Twisted Metal head on. Loco Roco 2, End War. This is like a bit of a hidden gem here. It's kind of like Advanced Wars. It's like a top down, top down, <coughs> um, military tactical RPG. You're moving units, much like Advanced Wars. It's actually a hidden gem. I highly recommend that one. Pursuit Force Extreme Justice. Another good one you can find for super cheap. Another hidden gem right here. Crush, uh, Sega game. They released a new version of this on the 3DS and it wasn't very good, but this game is fantastic. Highly recommend that one. Another one you can find really cheap. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Gangs of London. Played this one to death. Burnout Legends. Resistance Retribution. Star Ocean Second Evolution. Uh, this is Deadhead Fred. Breath of Fire 3. This is a UK or European release. It didn't come to uh, North America. Sims 2 Castaway. A couple of the Snickle Fritz games here. Need for Speed Pro Street. Spider Man 3. NBA 06. I kept it. It was just kind of cool having an NBA game to go on the go. Uh, Pro Evolution 2009. Jackass the game. Rush. Mercury Meltdown, <clears throat> Fight Night Round 3, Ace Combat X10, Medal of Honor Heroes, Ape Escape on the Loose, Peter Jackson's King Kong, Transformers the Game, that's most of my Snickle Fritz, my crappy games, Warriors of the Lost Empire, I, I don't know much about this one, uh, no more good stuff here, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Valkyria Profile Lenneth, uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, uh, Persona 3 Portable, I probably put 100 hours into that one on my uh, PSP Go. Uh, Persona, the original, kind of a remake of the original. SSX on Tour, Rengoku, A Tower of Purgatory. Uh, this is Jakandia, The Timeless Land. That one looks really cool. Almost looks like a platformer slash RPG. I, I gotta try that one out. Been meaning to play that one. Well, since I picked it up, I really want to try it, but it's been sitting there for a while. The Third Birthday. Most of these games I picked up for nothing. Metal Gear Acid 2. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron. Hot Pixel, don't know much about this. I'm guessing it might be more mini games. Uh, Lunar Silver Star Har or Harmony. I almost said story. Pixel Junk Monsters, I played that. Uh, I played a ton of this. Really good, uh, like, tower defense game. Untold Legends, The Warrior's Code. Motorstorm, Arctic Edge. Fantastic racing game on the PSP. This one is outstanding. Really love this one. It never came digital. How did that work? I bought the digital copy of this, hoping to play it on the Vita, but it never, it was never one of the games that they made compatible, and it's a first party Sony game. As far as I know, you still can't play this on the Vita, which is absolutely ridiculous. Star Ocean, The First Departure, God of War, Ghosts of Sparta, Castlevania, The Dracula X Chronicles, um, includes, uh, yeah, Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night, nice package there. And finally, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, another fantastic game on the PSP. So uh, that's it for the PSP collection. Like I said, it's been a couple years. I, my collection's grown quite a bit since then, since the last time I did it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite PSP games are. 
Um, and as always, you can really help me out by uh, liking the video and uh, subscribing if you haven't done so already. But um, thank you so much for watching and until the next episode.